criteria threaten the arena's chance at main debate stage. I guess you want your supporters to answer the phone and participate in the polls between now and then. Well, you know, it's not the polls between now and then that are the issue. Uh, CNN um, at least published one set of rules that said they were going to average polls from before the August 6th debate. So if all we're doing is polling between August 6th and uh, the next debate, I'm in good shape. But the set of rules for the first debate sort of disadvantaged me because they were national polls, which are based on name ID, and a CNN and the RNC reach all the way back to the middle of July and average polls over that period, that potentially is an issue as well, which is unfortunate. Hopefully it won't be an issue, but, you know, we're in the top five in virtually every state poll there is now, so. Well, you've had quite a run. I've got nothing to do with the rules set, but I'm hoping to ask you questions in uh, the Reagan Library debate. Did you listen to the Hillary Clinton press conference yesterday? I was not able to listen to it live because I was campaigning, but I did read a transcript of it after the fact. Amazing. I mean, what else can one say about that? Amazing. Is she lying? Well, I, I have said on many occasions I think she's lying. I think she clearly lied about the existence of her server. She's lied about the emails from the beginning. She said she had no classified information. I also think this is a woman who is unbelievably ignorant or uh, simply careless about confidential information, about technology, and she strikes me sort of as a woman who just kind of said to somebody, oh, handle it. You know, I can't be bothered really understanding whether I'm sufficiently protecting confidential information or not. Uh, Carly Fiorina, you've done hundreds of press conferences because you were the CEO of a publicly traded company. How hard is it to hold a long press conference, an hour or two hour conference call, and answer all the questions and just answer them? Well, you know, you have to know what you're talking about. You have to know what you're talking about. And clearly, Hillary Clinton, in many cases, doesn't know everything that she's talking about or she is not prepared to be truthful about it. Either answer is bad. As long as you know what you know and you're prepared to tell the truth, then you can answer any question that comes your way. That's, that's my view. You just tell, If you don't know, you say, I don't know. But when she said, you mean wipe it down with a cloth, what was your reaction to that? Well, I, you know, honestly, I couldn't tell whether she was joking or whether she was truly that ignorant about technology. But you know what this reminds me of? You know, if you'll bear with me here for a moment. When the whole Benghazi scandal was swirling, she made the comment, and people uh, discovered through FOIA, that she had signed the documents uh, turning down requests for additional security. And those were presented to her because she had said, oh, I had nothing to do with that. And they said, well, look, these documents have your signature on them. And her basic answer was, well, that was an auto pen. You know, that was one of those things that just signed my signature for me. Well, I can tell you as the chief executive, who sometimes used an auto pen, I looked at every single document upon which an auto pen would be used. And the reason to use an auto pen is you're out of the country or you're out of town is that you look at it. So that's Hillary Clinton's track record about this issue, as well as Benghazi, as well as about everything else, because it's vital. It's just vital that people know this goes to the core of someone's character and competence. And when people are electing a president of the United States, we better understand their character and we better understand their competence. And are you saying she, not, she has neither the character nor the competence to be president? The more she is out there, the more I believe she has neither the character or the competence. Let me play for you her spokeswoman, Jennifer Palmieri, speaking today about that disastrous press conference yesterday. She had a server at her house. Because her husband was a former president and... Again, it was, nonetheless, it's, it's, still, it's, still unpre it's still unprecedented, so why? I, I think that uh, I've encountered this a lot in politics where people think that the answer is a lot more um, complicated than it really is. And if she's answered this many times, and she had, you know, um, she did have her own email account. 
uh, others had done it before, and it was just more convenient, and she kept it like that, and she didn't really think, that's, that's the thing, she didn't really think it through, and she has said, had she, she would have done it differently. When I delete no. email, I hit delete. No. That's all I do, that's most, what most Americans do okay. when they want to delete an email. So did she ask someone to do more than that, or not? No. No. She no, said, she her, uh, you know, they, her, uh, her, uh, she had lawyers to look at all the emails and decide what was personal and what was official, and she decided to not retain the personal ones, and they were deleted. And she asked and beyond that, question. like any technical questions about server like that, that's not, I, you know, that's I don't know. That's, that's not the question I'm asking. You're saying that she did not direct anyone to do more than merely delete the emails. I'm saying she, they had not go through it and they like deleted the emails. I'm, I'm just, so I'm not, I, I, I don't understand the, what the, the... The question is, I think for many people, is the notion that um, if I had personal emails about my yoga practice or about my daughter's wedding that I didn't want people to see, right. if I deleted them, I would hit a delete button. Right. If, if it, I don't if, know. I don't know. The lawyer is now saying that the email is wiped. And that's what the FBI is going to look at right now when they have the server. So right. They're going to look at what the email. They're going to be done with those emails. To be deleted. And beyond that, I don't know. And beyond that, I don't understand. I don't know. Everyone, this is like everyone's a, 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 an expert on inflating footballs, and now everybody's an expert on wiping servers. Like, I don't know how that all works. Carly Fiorina, what did you make of that exchange? <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Well, first, Remember Bill Clinton at the beginning of this scandal? Remember Bill Clinton saying, I think I've only sent one email in my life. Remember that? Yes. So, you know, she keeps saying, well, we did this because my husband was the president. No, it had nothing to do with her husband. It clearly had nothing to do with her husband. This was done at Hillary Clinton's direction, point one, point two. We now know that the server was sitting at some IT company in New Jersey being wiped clean, which is certainly, as most people who understand that technology realize, far more than deleting an email. You delete an email and it hangs around for a very long time. So the fact that they went to the trouble of cleaning a server says that it was a very deliberate attempt to make sure that none of those emails could ever be recovered. Now, some people do that. I'm curious, Califina, have you ever wiped a server down? I have never wiped a server down, but I do know, for example, that it can be done. So let me, for example, um, as chairman of Good360, one of the charities that I served as chairman of until I began running for president, we would get computers from banks to donate to charities around the country, and banks would spend a great deal of time and energy wiping those computers clean completely so that they could be used by others and none of the sensitive information was retained. So it can be done. And based on what I've heard, I suspect it has been done in this case. And to do that requires a very conscious, deliberate decision and the expenditure of time, money, and resources. It is not simply hitting the delete button. And when, when her spokesman says she really didn't think this through, yesterday Mrs. Clinton said they went through a painstaking process. That doesn't compute. Either you go through a painstaking process or you don't really think it through. You can't do both. That's right. And the other thing is, and this is why I think we're, uh, it's clear she's lying about so much of this. As I said in my closing statement in the debate, she's lying about these things. When you become the Secretary of State, of the United States of America, that you might occasionally be looking at classified information. I mean, it just seems like a pretty basic thing to understand that. And so how could you possibly conclude that if all of your communications went over a personal device and a personal server, how could you conclude that you never handled classified information? You couldn't, unless you exactly. are absolutely uh, indifferent to truth or oblivious of common sense. Carly Fiorina is my guest live here on the Hugh Hewitt Show.